Both the independence minister and his boss Hamza Yousaf suggested there would be no goods border between England and Scotland if an independent Scotland joined the EU despite experts and even Nicola Sturgeon saying this would be the case. SNP claims that there would be no hard border between England and Scotland in the event of Skexit and joining the EU have been slapped down by critics. Independence Minister Jamie Hepburn said there would not be good checks between the two countries. But this flies in the face of what is written in Scottish Government's own independence prospectuses. Former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon also suggested that this would have to happen if an independent Scotland joined the bloc after breaking up the UK. The economic paper, launched last autumn, read, actual physical checks would likely only be undertaken on the two main trunk routes between England and Scotland. But now, it seems like the SNP executive have backtracked on this due a hugely negative reaction from those they need to persuade to vote for Skexit. Experts, including Professors Anthony Salamone and Nicola McEwen, have previously admitted that there would be some sort of land border due to good checks on products travelling to an EU area to a non-EU area and vice versa. But Mr Hepburn overruled them in a speech to SNP supporters in Dumfries on Saturday. He said, I'd like to assure you that in relation to that important issue, our prospectus papers to come, as we take them forward, will focus on that matter. He added that Scotland would remain part of the common travel area and that it was not an outlandish, extraordinary, or radical idea. Mr Hepburn stated, that's the state of arrangements that the UK and Ireland have enjoyed for over a century. So take no nonsense from the fear-mongering that we hear from Mr Jack and others in the Conservative Party about border guards and the hard border. It'll be just as much in the interest of the United Kingdom, as it will be for Scotland to have a common travel area. First Minister Mr Yousaf backed his ally and revealed that one of the next taxpayer-funded Skexit prospectuses would focus on the border. He told pro Indy newspaper The National, of course we'll address the issue of Scotland within the European Union and if the rest of the UK isn't in the European Union. We are going to be part of the common travel area, that's no secret, you don't need a paper for me to be able to say that with absolute positivity. In fairness, even those who completely oppose independence, even they don't attempt to make a ridiculous argument that you wouldn't be in the common travel area. So that would allow people to be able to travel freely between all of those countries including the Republic of Ireland that are in the common travel area. But the Scottish Tories have labelled these comments blithe assertions with absolutely no foundation and criticised the spend on more independence papers. Shadow Cabinet Secretary for the Constitution, External Affairs and Culture Donald Cameron MSP told the Scottish Daily Express, Hamza Yousaf and Jamie Hepburner, as the nationalists are often de making blithe assertions with absolutely no foundation. Even Nicola Sturgeon admitted that there could be serious border issues. Scottish taxpayers shouldn't have to fund absurd propaganda pamphlets that aren't worth the paper they're written on.